All right, here we go with 401. Okay, so commutative law and distributive law and associative law and all those great things. Okay, so all this law is saying is that if you've got 3 plus 2, that that's the same as 2 plus 3. Okay, so it turns out as long as you're dealing with addition, this works. What if you have 3 minus 2? Is, <clears throat> okay, that's not going to work. So that's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be 2 minus 3. Okay, so we can't do that with subtraction. But we can take this 3 mi oops, 3 minus 2, okay, and we can do a sign change on it. So they're dealing only with additions. So we can say that then that negative 2 plus 3 are the same thing. Oops, and you can't see that. Aha. There you go. Okay, oops, raise up. And then A times B is the same as B times A. Okay, so that's just saying 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. Okay? Kind of hard to see, or you can throw other things in there, so. 2 times 3 times 4 would be the same as 4 times 3 times 2. Or 2 times 4 times 3. Yeah, I can't see that. Okay. So basically, you can move things... Whoa. You can move things however you... You can move things around however you want. I'm stumbling all around with this one. One would think I would start over, but I'm getting kind of tired of starting over. So now, distributive law. Okay. So when you're multiplying two things like this, remember you always do it inside the parentheses first. So whatever's inside the parentheses here, you're getting a number. You're taking B and you're adding C to it and you get a number. Then you take that number and you multiply it by an A. Sometimes we don't always know what those numbers are. So we can use the distributive law, which would say a times b plus a times c. Okay? So basically, basically, if I had 2 times 3 plus x, that would be 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 2 times x, which is 2x. Now where this gets tricky, if you have something like this, okay? Because this is saying subtract this whole thing, okay? So what we need to make sure we do is always deal with addition. It's best just to always deal with addition. So I do my sign change, okay? Because that subtraction sign, subtract this whole thing. Don't just try to subtract a piece of it. So I'll rewrite it down here. Well, I'll get rid of it. So I take my 2 outside here, take negative 2 times 4, which would be negative 8, and negative 2 times x, which would be negative 2x. Okay. Add my like terms here together. So I've got uh, negative 6 plus negative 2x. Okay, now where this really gets tricky. So we've got 3 minus uh, 1 plus x. Now again, this is saying we're subtracting this whole thing. So we need to be careful here. What I like to do is I like to put a little magic one in there. Okay? So that way it holds the place of my negative. I then do my sign change. And remember, we can put a one anywhere. Right? If I take three times one, it's still a three. If I take five times one, it's still a five. If I take ten times one times one times one, it's still a ten. Put as many ones anywhere I want. As many ones as I need anywhere I want. So I take negative 1 times 1, which would be negative 1. Negative 1 times x would be negative x. I'll add my like terms, 2 plus negative x. Or I could write 2 minus x. Or I could even write that as negative x plus 2. Okay, Those are all the right answers. 